hi hello you guys welcome back to my youtube channel um it's your girl miranda sierra and in today's video um it's i wouldn't say it's highly requested but i ended up making a post on snapchat and a lot of people was writing me um about it and i was like i guess i'll just do a youtube video which you guys can tell by the title that um i will just be sharing some tips that help me improve my credit score let's before we start the video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel please thank you how this video is gonna go i do have a few disclaimers my credit is not your credit my credit is not your credit my debt is not your debt um you know so therefore um i'm just sharing ways that helped me improve my credit score over 100 points um in less than two months um now disclaimer that doesn't necessarily mean your credit score will go up 100 points because everyone's credit is different. Yours may have go up 20 points. It may go up 150 points. It may go up only 70 points. You guys, because a lot of people don't know much about credit. And me, I'm one of those people who had to learn the hard way about credit. I was that person who had the bad experience with the credit cards, not being able to pay them, you know, back in my younger days. Um, like I said, many people don't teach us about credit. With that being said, um, I have, um, I'm going to include everything on the screen. Everything that I tell you is how you should basically do it in order. First things first is that you need to get your score. Um, some um, apps have them for free. Some apps don't. A lot of people think Credit Karma is your accurate um, credit score. And it's actually not. Credit Karma is more of like an estimate of your credit score. Um, your FICO score is your actual credit score so they could very much vary um on credit karma you may get a 650 639 but your fico score could actually be like a 570 um of what's actually you know going on with your credit so first thing that you would do is um what i personally did was me personally i use experian so what you would want to do is pull your credit report you would want to write down well first you would want to review everything that's on your credit because little do people know you have addresses that you may have never lived at you may have names that you never use you may have um bills that you never had there's a lot of things that play in factor with your credit and a lot of people don't know it because when I was going through my credit report, I had two names that I've never used before and which was very odd to me. I had like four addresses I've never lived at um, on my credit. So um, you wanna go through inquiries. Where those come from is when banks um, pull your credit um, say like you're going to shop for a car and you don't know if you'll get approved or not. So they send your um, information to like 10 different banks and 10 different banks pull your credit. And next thing you know, your credit score just dropped like 40 points. You want to write those things down and then you want to make sure um, that like for instance with the hard inquiries like those were only a um credit a credit pool it wasn't something that you actually 
Now, if you actually got the car, um, I would, well, you probably still could get them removed because the only bank that actually finances your car is the one that you can actually say you consented to. So, after you've done that, um, also, oh, paid off debt, I left that out. You also want to make sure... Um, any debt that you paid off because even though you pay debt off, it can still remain on your credit. Now, this is the key factor to fixing your credit. A lot of people don't know that you can call the bureaus, which is um, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. You can call these people. <clears throat> now, when you call, make sure that you ask to speak to a U.S. representative. A U.S. representative. A U.S. representative. Okay? Make sure you ask to speak to a U.S. representative. And I say that because when you call these bureaus, you want to talk to somebody who's going to understand you and going to take your ass serious. Okay? Now, this is where... I hate to say it like this, but basically you finna harass the hell out of these people because that's exactly what I did. You gonna call and you gonna get on their nerves. You gonna call and talk to these people till they dispute these things that you want off your credit. Now, I, it only took me two phone calls. Um, so yeah, you will call and I will list the numbers that you can use to call them directly. And I will also include the address because you can also write letters. If you're not the, if you're not an aggressive talker and can persuade people to, you gonna delete this motherfucking shit off my credit, then you may want to write letters. Um, you can get somebody to professionally write them for you. Do what you do, but I'll include the um address for you guys. Um, so you're gonna call these people. You may be on hold for a good while. It may take, you may not get the first person to delete or well, to dispute something. May not get the second person to dispute something. May not take the third person. It may take the fourth person, meaning you may have to call a fourth time. You gonna contact somebody who gonna help you. I promise you that. If you, if you serious about your credit, you gonna harass these people till they delete this shit off your credit. So, that is what I did. Um, honestly, I had somebody who really wasn't, you know, drilling me about, you know, well, why did this happen? How did that happen? Blah, 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 blah. Basically, the main thing that you would have to say is, I didn't authorize this. I didn't consent to this. Um, especially because I had 13 hard inquiries from when I had got a, um, a challenger. Was it last year or two years ago? I can't remember. Y'all had a challenge for a day. It, that's a story for another day. But um, I had, I went to the car dealership with the bank. But these people did what the hell they wanted to do anyway. And had all these banks pulling my credit. So next thing you know, I'm getting hit like multiple times. And my credit score dropped. So... I was able to get mine disputed off my credit and I can insert I can insert a picture where now I only have one hard inquiry and that is because of this apartment that I got. So, you do that. Now the third thing you want to do is say you have um, a collection or maybe um a late payment so if you have a collection say it's only three hundred dollars you can call either the company that the collection is with or you can contact the people who that who they've sold the debt to now what you would do with this is you can actually negotiate um debt a lot of people don't know this as well say you owe three hundred dollars um you can convince them, you know, money's tight, da-da-da-da-da. 
I can't pay 300, but I can pay 150, 200. Negotiate the late payment. Pay that. Like, pay it. Once you pay it, call, get it disputed off your credit. Um, a car note. Um, you may have late payments on a car note, credit card, things of that nature. You can call um, whoever the credit card was through or whoever. And, or you can call the bureaus and tell them, hey, I know this is the late payment, but this was paid off. Can you remove the late payments? Because late payments, oh my gosh, y'all, they will hurt your credit so freaking bad. So, you want to call, get those removed. Student loans. Um, if you don't get them deferred or the income driven repayment plan all that stuff when i mean once you get it settled I, i'm not really going to speak on student loans and how you pay back your student loans or whatever but let's say you got late payments on student loans but three four months down the line you started paying on them or you didn't got them deferred or whatever you had to do to you know keep the bill from coming in every month call the bureaus hey this has been settled. This has been arranged. Um, can we remove the late payments? So yeah, work on late payments, you guys. I promise you everything I'm telling you is what I have done. And it worked out. I promise you I won't feed you no bullshit. I won't be making this video if it was bullshit. Honestly. So, um... Now I'm going to talk about things that you can do right now that will help you boost your credit. So, if you have um, the Experian app, with the Experian app, you can go, you can go on the app, you can, um, you make your account or whatever. Nothing I'm saying is something you got to pay for or... A program any of that I'm me I'm not paying for shit it's so many resources out there me I'm not paying nobody to remove stuff or follow stuff I'm not doing none of that I, my credit fucked up for spending all this damn money I'm not spending no money to fix it either when it's resources out there it's, they have where you can um, this is 2019. Everybody should have a damn bank account that they use to pay their bills or whatever. Um, so, basically, through Experian, you can use your um, bank account that you already pay your bills, pay for everything. Basically, you link your bank account with experience and when your bills that you already pay is paid every month when you link it to experience Ex experience reports that you just paid your rent your car note your cell phone bill all that type of stuff when you pay that because your account is linked to experience experience reports that to your credit bureaus and basically here's some things she's you know doing like she's oh lord why i'm talking to third person um you're doing you're paying your bills and basically you're it's it's getting reported on your credit is what i'm trying to say therefore it's help boosting your credit so you know normally and see this is the thing that i hate about credit is that you can make so many on-time payments for all your bills and it don't help your credit score. But as soon as you miss one goddamn payment for something, boom, your credit score dropped 40 points. That's what I hate about credit. Credit's fucked up. Credit is a scam, low-key. Anywho, but with Experian, they have this program, whatever you want to call it. I don't know the correct term to use it, goddammit. But you can do that and, um... Link your account to Experian, continue to pay your bills like you normally do, but they just report it to the credit bureaus, and next thing you know, boom, your credit score probably go up 5, 10 points. That's what I do. Um, I think they do, I know they do like water, electricity, rent, cell phone, I think that's 
cell phone? I can't remember. I don't know. But I have mine linked and it reports it to it. Um, yeah. So that's the fourth step. The fifth thing that you can do is use an app called Self Lender. Now, with Self Lender, Self Lender is an app that you can use to basically you can do the program where you pay $25 a month or $50 a month. Now this is how it works. Um, if you do the $25, it takes two years. If you do the $50, it takes one year. The money that you pay. So, for example, if you do the $25, the $25 goes towards your debt. It reports the, the all three credit bureaus. So, the $25 will be split between the three credit bureaus and go toward your debt. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, that is not a lot of money. That's not going to pay off anything, blah, blah, blah. The point is, it's going towards your credit, it's going toward debt, it's reporting as an on-time payment toward debt, on-time payment toward debt leads to an increase in credit score. So, you can do that, and the thing about it is, if you do the $25, if you do the $50, um... At the end of your, pro I hate using this word program, but at the end of your program, they basically pay you back your money. So, I think with the $50, you'll get like $500 at the end of the year, but you have to, you know, make your payments every month on time, which is pretty good to me. So, yeah, you paying out money and damn near getting 80, 90% of your money back. So, that's why it's called Self Lender. So, yeah. Those are my five tips that I've done to help my credit. And this was the results of me doing these things in only a matter of 40 days. Yeah. Your girl credit. It's looking A1. Now, I will say, some things happen and my credit was really, really low. So, people think, oh my gosh, your credit went up 100 points. You got to have like an 800 credit score. No, I do not have a fucking 800 credit score. I wish I had an 800 credit score. But just know your girl is on the road to an 800 credit score, okay? And you can be too if you fucking listen to me, okay? So, if you guys enjoyed this video... If you actually decide to work towards your credit and do what I said that was mentioned in the video, let me know. If you need some additional information or Miranda, I know what you said in the video, but I still need help. Let me know. Um, my social media will be on the screen. Uh, in the description box, you can email me anything. I'm here to help, so yeah, fix your goddamn credit. I throw that ass back to see if he gon' catch it. I ain't never let it, but it's tennis for the 